to the prize? Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we're, we're looking forward to playing everyone in the conference, you know, because I don't feel like there's uh, a low-end team or anything like that. On any given night, um, the team can be the best. James, there was, a, there was a lot last year written about you defensively. You think you know people, commentators are saying Indiana is better now because James Black was not there playing defense. How did you respond to that? Did you hear any of that? And and defensively this year, is that something that's going to motivate you? I mean, I heard I heard a little bit of it, not really. Uh, I I really didn't pay attention to any of it because a lot of uh, people on the outside don't really know what's going on. So I like to pay attention to my teammates and, and Coach Crean to see what he has to say uh, more than anything. And yeah, when when you hear stuff like that, you want you want to show uh, your best. And I feel like I will do that this year. What, what do you feel like is the biggest difference between you now in terms of your game when you got hurt and, and where you are now? Um, just I feel like I'm more of a leader, uh, a floor general, not just a, a score that everyone saw before. But I feel like I can play make uh, on and off the ball. Everyone talks about you know, who's going to be the point guard. Yo, he's gone. Is that? I mean, with, with with how the system is, does there really have to be one guy that's the point guard? I don't think there really has to be one guy. You know, because we have a lot of guys that can run the show on any play. So I feel like there's a lot of guys who can get the rebound and push it out themselves. Um, we have a lot of concepts, you know. So guys just know concepts and we know how to move without them. I know you mentioned you the, the draft express. Then with, with OG as a top prospect, but then the <coughs> all uh, Big Ten preseason team comes out, ten guys, OG's not on it. So, what do you do? You think he's one of the top ten players in the Big Ten? Uh, definitely. Um, I think he is. You know, with the rankings and stuff like that, we really don't uh, get into all of that because you know, I don't know. Nobody really knows if they're true. So uh, we just try to do what we can do the best. To be the best that we can be individually, and what we can do to improve our team. Last year, Yogi and Troy were two of the guys who late in the shot clock and go create something. You know, if something broke down. This year, who do you see as the, as the guys filling that role? I mean, I feel like we have a lot of guys to fill that role. Uh, I feel like we we are trying to not have those situations to where we have to just pull it out and go at the end of the shot clock. But um, we'll just have to see how. The season goes, and we just have a lot of guys who can create for themselves. How surprised were you, Thomas? Didn't even go to the combine, didn't even put his name in, just decided, hey, I'm coming back. I mean, I kind of knew, um, you know, a guy like Thomas, I kind of knew that that's what he was going to do because I feel like he wants to get better in this year, and um, I feel like it will help him. What, what, what are your impressions? I know Freddie and, and Duran arrived late, but working with them now for a couple months. Kind of each guy, what, what are your impressions of each other? I feel like they'll bring so much to the table. You know, Freddie is a guy that goes so hard every possession. He never takes a playoff. Um, and he's so athletic. So that, that will add to us. And Duran is just uh, so big. He can score inside. He's, he's a great defender. He's so strong. So And he's always asking for help, you know, to figure out what we're doing. So I feel when the season comes, he'll be ready. How difficult will it be to replace what, what Colin, uh, you know, Colin being out, I mean, as far as his leadership and, and a lot of people talk about him as maybe a blue guy on this team. Yeah. I mean, how, how difficult of a loss is that for you guys? I mean, it's tough, you know. We're losing a guy who created for others, a guy who who can create for himself, and we're losing a leader. Um, so we just have to get that, what we got from him, from everyone else, and uh, take what he has to say, because he still talks. He I, know still he, talks. I know you kind of, you know, you went through that last year, what he's going through now. I mean, what, do, you, do you talk to him at all about that, or yeah, what, what are your conversations? Uh, just, I just see how he's doing, you know, because I was in the same spot. I was sitting out, and um, just seeing how he's doing, and we just talk every day. He, he asked me, uh, how he how he feels if that's normal and I just always give him input. Hey James, the uh, making the All Big Ten preseason team. How satisfying was that? How what was your reaction to that? Um, it's satisfying. You know that's a huge honor. Every everyone on that list are great players, so that's that's a great honor for me. But 
I want to be on that list at the end of the year, so um, I feel like I just got to prove what I have to prove during the season and can't really feed into any of that. Is there a particular area of your game that you feel like, I don't know, you really want to develop more this year? Um, I feel like I've developed on the ball uh, as a playmaker, so I think that's one thing that I'll be able to show this year, not just being that guy uh, shooting or looking to score all the time, but getting others involved. Do you have any, is there at any point where you start thinking about the knee right now when you're out there, or is that all in the back of your mind? Uh, it's all in the back of my mind because of the, the rehab and the work that I put in. Um, when I when I do think when I did think about that stuff, I wouldn't uh, go out there and play. So now it's I don't think about it. It's stronger. It's strong. It's just as strong as my other leg, and I feel even stronger than I did before. It's kind of crazy how many injuries you guys have had. Because I mean, when you think about different people that had off-season surgeries, and you now Colin goes down as well. I mean, you guys have had to play through a lot. Yeah, we've been through a lot. You know, uh, I feel like that's more motivation for us um, just being out there um, is, a, is a great opportunity every day and that's how I look at it that's how we all look at it so we never take it for granted because um, we've had a lot of guys go down even with losing Yogi is this guard looking at kind of the depth you have in the backcourt is it you know, overall you, you feel like you're more deep in the backcourt this year with what you added with, with uh, Josh and Devontae and Curtis definitely you know because Josh is going to bring so much because of how he can handle the ball and play off the ball. He's, he has a lot of college experience. Uh, we got young guys who can also handle the ball, you know, so we're deep at the uh, point guard. Do you remember playing against him in that big game in the ACC Big Ten Challenge? What was... I, I remember my one play, um, how he uh, blew by us. And that, that's what I remember from him. And then when I figured out that he was coming here, um, I was excited. And uh, just working out with him every day, um, he, he's lived up to that.